Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to replace a washing machine. If you've never done this before, it's really easy, so don't worry. Step 1. Unplug that old washing machine. Step 2. Isolate the water supply to the old washing machine. So if you come around to the back, there is a hose and you should have an isolation point there. Turn off the water. If you don't have one here, you may have to turn it off elsewhere. Make sure you do this, otherwise when you take this off, you'll get water everywhere. Step 3. Remove the water supply hose from the washing machine. and be prepared to catch the little bit of water that's gonna come out of this, which is just what's in the hose. Step four, remove the drain hose from the old washing machine. So if you just follow the gray hose, corrugated hose, you should find something like this, and yours may have a hose clamp securing it. In this case, it's just a cable tie. So you release whatever it is that's holding this on and then you can take this off there. Be prepared to catch a little bit of water. It's not going to be too much, but there may be some in there. Step five is to release the hose and bring it through to the washing machine. We're now ready to slide the washing machine out. If you've got a floor you want to protect, a wooden floor or something, then you might get some little pieces of aluminium foil or the baking paper that you get for the oven and slide it under the little feet there, the rubber feet, just to kind of give you a little bit less friction and to help you get it out without scratching your floor. In my case I don't care because I've got a concrete floor here. So I'm just going to gather the cable and the hoses. And bring the washing machine out. There's a panel here with a diagram on it to show you to put it on the bottom of the washing machine. So I'll do that before I slide it in position. And around the back, there are some transport bolts to remove. So these hold the internal mechanism of the washing machine in position during transport to make sure it doesn't wobble about and destroy itself. So you need to remove these as per the instructions that come with the washing machine. In my case, these require a 10 millimeter spanner or socket. The washing machine comes with a new supply hose, so if you just get the seal there, put a little bit of water on it and position it, you can just do this up hand tight. There you go, now if you tighten that up by hand as tight as you can, then it's not going to leak. You don't need to put tools on this, this isn't designed for tools. This is a, a knurled handle, it's supposed to be done hand tight, so that should be us. Fitting the new washing machine is just the same as removing the old one, same process. So first of all we're going to position the washing machine and the drain hose. Step two, I'm going to fit the drain hose, so I've just wet the inside of this. And you can position that and then add your additional clamping method on there. In this case, it's a cable tie. You can use a hose clamp. You can even use nothing at all. If you push it on there nice and hard, then it won't actually leak. Unless somebody puts something against it or pulls it or something, it's not going to leak. Um, but it is better to have something on there just in case somebody accidentally bumps into the hose. There we go. Step three, connect the water supply. You want a little bit of water on the seal, but there should be enough on this fitting to enable you to do that. So again, it's just hand tight. Keep the hose tail there nice and straight. 
and then tighten this up nice and tight by hand. Step four, turn on the water. Then you can check your two fittings for leaks. There shouldn't be any, but it's good to check just to make sure. Step five is an extra step compared to the removal, and this is to adjust the little feet on the bottom of the washing machine. So you've got rubber tipped feet on the four corners of the washing machine. You want to adjust them up and down to match the floor so that when you grab the washing machine and wobble it, there is no movement. So this is pretty good, but there's a little bit of movement there. I want to get rid of that. Otherwise, when you put on a spin cycle, your washing machine starts to dance around. When these are adjusted properly, it shouldn't move at all. You shouldn't have to prop up your washing machine or wedge it or do anything else with it. These little feet should do everything for you. So you just rotate them clockwise or anti-clockwise to get them to the right height so that it doesn't wobble anymore. Once you've confirmed that there's no more wobbling, then step six is to connect the power supply. This is provisional, we've just moved in. It's going to be a proper socket, but this is earthed, so we are safe here. And there we have it, we have fitted a washing machine. We'll now follow the instructions of the manufacturer with regards to the first wash and everything else, but that is our job done now. If you're interested in learning how I make money by helping people in videos like this, click on the link in my description. It's not the YouTube revenue, it's something else, it's something you can do too. You can earn potentially a lot of money doing this and you don't need to make videos, there are other ways of doing it. So if you're interested in earning a bit of extra cash, then click on the link and check it out. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one and until then, don't forget, love life.